<laughs> I know I'm all over the place, y'all. I mean, one minute you click a video and I'm talking about cars. One minute I'm trying to be funny. One minute I'm talking about fitness. One minute I'm talking about something serious, motivational, or whatever the case. But it's all just things I love, man. I'm just trying to bring some joy to this world, man. I want to leave this place better than when I got here. And, um, you know, I, my, you know, one of my main goals is just to bring a smile to somebody's face. Because, I mean, anybody, everybody knows that one of the biggest cures for pain is is laughter, man. And just and just not taking yourself so serious, man. Life is way too short to be so serious. And, you know, I'm, I'm guilty of it, too. But, man, something that's just really brought to my attention lately is uh, our veterans, man. Our soldiers and these people that gives our lives for us. And it's so cliche. You hear it so much that it doesn't even sink in whenever you hear it. Like, you know, soldiers give their life for you. Just right over your head, you know what I mean? Nobody really knows the extent of what that means anymore. And it just really broke my heart the other day because there's a there's this man in our family. He's really close to us and... He uh he's a veteran. You know, he's, he served twenty years, man, of his life uh, to this country. You know, between the National Guard, you know, went to Army. You know, he fought in the Desert Storm, and um, but told, some of the things that he told me, my God, I mean, I ain't I ain't really had it easy, and I faced some pretty crazy stuff myself. But I mean, I mean if you just hearing some of the stuff they went through, man, just my heart, you know, it's. There's no way to ever for us to ever really understand, and that's why we should appreciate it that much more. Because we won't we won't have to understand what it what it's like to have to take somebody's life, to have to be in fear of yours constantly, to be in those chaotic situations, and it could give anybody a heart attack. I mean, it's just to to give up your freedom, to give up your life, to serve somebody else that you don't even know. There's nothing more noble than that. And to give one's life for a friend. But not only do these soldiers give their lives for, for friends, they give them for, for us, the people that they don't even know. It's, 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 it's wild, dude. So, I mean, I give, you know, I mean, I don't, I don't really have much, but, you know, I, I give I give 10% of my money away because it's good for the soul, man. I mean, like, what's the point in having stuff you can't share with other people, right? So, I mean, I give, I give 10% to this man and my family and, uh, because he did all that and he's struggling to pay his bills. I don't I don't understand that. I don't, and I will never get that. How somebody can go and give their life for hours and then whenever they come back here, they struggle. A veteran should never ever if you fought and could have died for me, for us, people in this in this country that have it that have it okay and we're good, it is our responsibility. To help them, man. Not even to help them, just to pay them back. Because you would not even be watching this right now. You wouldn't have a phone to do it. You wouldn't be able to have freedom of religion, anything. You wouldn't have nothing if it wasn't for people to fight for your ass, man. And to give their life for hours. Oh my God. And and he's and he's struggling to pay his bills. And oh man. Whenever, whenever he about teared up from having to ask, like, man, do you care to help me out a little bit this month, man? I hate asking for help, man. I hate it, man. I've, I've never, I've never been that tight, man. I fought for mine. I worked for mine, and I just, and he's sitting there about, you know, crying, having to ask, and I'm like, dude, stop, please, 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 stop. It is an honor to be able to give anything to you, man. I'm not even scratching the surface as to what you've done for me, man. I will never be able to pay you back for what you've done for me. Please allow me to give this to you. Please allow me to pay you back a little bit, right? Oh man, it just it just hurt me and killed me so much to to see him having to ask for that, man. Our veteran, there should never be anyone on the street, man. Like so, dude. I don't care, man. I don't care what it takes. Like we, and I'll just ramble because I get bent out of shape by the emotion. But the fact that you know some of you are sitting right now and you spend all this extra money. Stuff we don't even, we don't even need, man. There's so much stuff that we have that we don't need. Some of our soldiers are out there starving, man. Start why? How is it that somebody that somebody can have a mansion and ten rooms in their in their house and only use a couple of them? And not only is there people, just human beings out there starving and hurting, 
There's human beings out there that gave their life for you that you wouldn't even have the chance to have what you have if it wasn't for them. Oh, man. <laughs> so, look, man, if, if, if any of you are watching this and you're a soldier or you're a police officer, God bless you so much. God bless you, man. Because I wouldn't have a life, man. I wouldn't be able to have it. I wouldn't be anything, man, if it wasn't for you all fighting for me and giving me that chance, man. Thank you so much, man. So, so much. And if you're watching this and you're not one, man, next time you see somebody wearing a veteran's hat, you see a police officer, walk up to them and shake their hand and thank them. Whether you even know you're thankful for them or not, you need to be because you wouldn't have the life you had without them, man. We could just change the world just by loving each other, man. But especially the people that have loved you. Love them back. At least say thank you. Man, F the police, man. I already know. That's the mentality of a lot of people. And look, man, you can't. Each individual person has their own unique ability of self-awareness and to be able to make choices based on whatever they want to do. So for you to sit there and say F the police, F that whole group of people. Based on one or, you know, based on, you know, two or three of them, few of them, you know, probably 1% of all the cops, you know, act a fool and, you know, abuse their power or whatever. And it's not police. It's that individual person that's acting stupid. Just like a whole lot of us individuals act stupid. Man, that that's, uh, to, to say, to say it's screw all the police is to say, like, screw all black people. Screw all Mexicans. Screw all Buddhists, screw all Christians. You know, you're, you're being stereotypical or racist, and it's, you can't do that, man. Like, wake up. I ran from the police, man. I used to hate them. Why? Because I was breaking the damn law. I was, being st I was being an idiot. Man, if there's a cop right now watching this, they've probably chased me before, man. Like, I apologize. I was not in the right mind before. I'm so sorry. And now I'm thanking you. Because if something's happening to my family, if something's happening, somebody's breaking in my house, I... I mean, I'm probably going to shoot them. I got guns everywhere. But if something, if something was ever happening, man, I, we call you all. And any of you out there and out there right now, they're like, screw the police, whatever. Yeah, you'd call them too if uh, if you're using some severe danger. Yeah, yeah, they're the ones that come and help you. And, and the, you know, the, the EMS, man, the ambulance drivers, man, like just anybody and everybody that serve our people. God bless you and your family, man. Man. And you know, I know it's 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 weird. You don't even know why. It's like I think about food at a party, right? Ain't nobody eating it yet. You're sitting there and you're like, man, I want to eat that. You know, like I want to go over there and get. I want to go do that. But you're not going to because nobody else has yet. It's the same thing with these videos, man. If you look down right below this one and you don't see a you know a thousand million likes and views, you're gonna be that much more hesitant to like it and share it because you don't want to be the oddball. You don't want to be the one to, you know, to step out and do that. But man, I mean, not for my sake. I mean, if you ain't got to carry nothing about me. But the stuff that I say, man, I will never say nothing on these videos and stuff that's stupid, pointless, or for no reason whatsoever. I mean, it's either helping, it's either helping, you know, somebody, whether it's spreading awareness or knowledge or good deals, fitness, whatever the case may be, man. Like, please just share it. <laughs> like and share it right now. Let me go ahead and hit that and that. And get it out there, man. Cause I mean, I will never. I mean, I will die trying. I have a dream right now. I was just leaving this place better than it than it was, you know. And I'm I'm gonna continue to do that. And this tool right here, what you're looking at right now, you know, I'm sitting here in my room, you know, by myself talking to nothing, but I'm talking to millions of people. It's amazing. It's incredible the the resources that we have right now. And we all have a voice, man. We all have powerful individualism that we can just. Express and change this world, man. Let's do it together. And first off, you know, something as simple as saying, man, thank you, soldiers. Thank you, EMS. You know, thank you. Thank you, police officers. Thank you, you know, nurses and doctors. God, man, God, the nurses, man. My grandmother's a nurse. And it is inc it's amazing how under how much credit they don't get and how hard, how hard they work. Man, I just thank you. Thank you so much to anybody and everybody. And even if you're not that, and you're just you're just an average Joe, you know, running around doing your thing, working, and you make it a point every day to say something kind to somebody, you are changing the world, man. All right, think about this. Some of you, some I don't really know what kind of you know things was going on in other people's generations, but I know in my generation, like a couple of things, like one little thing, like bacon, you know, come up and smack the hell out of somebody's neck, right? 
<laughs> the, you know, the day that you didn't even know it was coming, it happened to you, and you're like, ah, what was that? You know, and they're like, yeah, it's bacon, you know, you do it to other people, blah, blah, blah. You go to the next person, and you smack the hell out of their neck, and then they might smack a couple people's necks, and they might smack, you know, bacon might have been spread out to thousands of people just because you smacked, like, one or two people's necks, right? <laughs> I mean, the same thing applies to you saying a kind word to somebody, to doing one good deed. That one good deed might spread good deeds to thousands of people. You have to understand how powerful you are as an individual. A lot of you right now are sitting there looking, you know, looking at this thinking that, you know, you're just, you'll never be like those important people. You know, the Oprah, the Warren Buffett, the Will Smith, you know, all these people out there with all this stuff. And, or any of the YouTubers and Facebookers that you're about to scroll through right now. You're going to keep scrolling through this and see another video. And it's got thousands of views, millions of views. And you're going to think more highly of them because of those views and likes. You got to understand that you are the same as them, but different in the most beautiful way. Think about this, man. Think about whenever somebody close to you makes a simple, just a small little facial expression like that. They change their tone in one little bit in a spy for it, you know, a mean way. Think about how that affects you. Think about how deep that cuts and how that makes you feel, right? What we got to understand is that other people feel that same way. Each person has deep, deep thoughts, man, deep feelings and emotions just like you do. So man, if you say if you if you if you completely ignore somebody, you know, walk by a doorman, you know, you don't know how that might make them feel, man. Make them feel like they're scum, you know. But then you also have the power to say, hey man, how you doing today, man? You look good, you know. Hey man, it's good to see you. you know, hey, how are you? Show a true desire to just listen to somebody. Show them that you're imp that they're important. Man, you can keep somebody from killing themselves, but by simply doing, you know, a kind word. You just, you have to understand the power of words. This is the most powerful thing you possess, right? So tomorrow, don't think that it's unimportant or that it, it's meaningless for you to just walk by that person that you usually walk by. Or that, that veteran that you see with the hat on, you know, and you just kind of leave it at that. You know, like, like no, understand how important your words are and how they affect people. Man, say hi to that person. Show them that they exist and that they're important. Let that veteran know that you appreciate them. That cop that you see over there doing his job, walk up to him and say, man, thank you. Like, I know I know a lot of you don't get the respect and, you know, and credit that you deserve, but, man, I really appreciate you. And you have no clue, man, what that does for people. Because think about, think about the last time somebody came to you and just said something nice. Said something, and you know, just one little word, one little notion, one little wave, one smile changed their whole day, man. Think about that, how that affected you and have that in mind whenever you're walking by these people, man. You have the power to change the world. We all do. But again, man, any veteran watching this, any police officer watching this, any EMS, nurse, doctor, anybody that serves people, man, like you give your life for hours. I appreciate you so much. Thank you.